what's going on ladies and gentlemen how's everyone been it is tuesday and we're almost done with no or october ain't that some sheep can't believe how fast this months are flying by day it is because I'm probably working. No, Thursday is Halloween, I think. Yeah, I'm working. It's not a big deal to me because I hate Halloween anyways. It's crazy. I actually went to a uh, like a haunted haunted place yesterday. Um, you guys probably don't know what it is. It's called Hunt Club. It's just something different. It's uh it's like a uh, this, this big old farm place, and it's got like a haunted hayride and a haunted walkthrough, and then a haunted corn corn maze. It's pretty cool. It's interesting. I haven't been there since I was like shit. So I was probably like ten since we, when we used to live here. But it's pretty cool. Uh, not really the scariest thing. There was really no pop outs. Uh, there was really just kind of like people standing around and. That's about it. But it's pretty cool though. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get to the motor vlog here. Hope you guys enjoy the topics. Alright, so for the first topic guys, uh, I wanted to talk about my um, Yummy R6 meetup. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of. Uh, the meetup is still a go. Um, and I told you guys I would have an official date. I've updated everything on Facebook, um, however I haven't done a video on it yet. Um, the date is going to be November 16th. Um, I found that almost everybody that was going to go um, so far, there, there's like three, two or three people confirmed right now. Um, uh, everyone wanted the 16th um, because the second was a little, a little too close to uh, like right now. So um, 16th gives everybody an extra like you know. Days to play and it's two weeks, so uh, anyways, on the event, if you guys are going, if you're local or whatever, um, where are you coming from? Um, I have a Facebook page up on uh, uh, my face on my Facebook page. I made an event, uh, it's the Yummy R6 meetup. I'll throw the link in the description. So if you're going, go click on that and click going. If you're not going, don't worry about it. Um, and if it's a maybe, obviously click maybe. But I'm trying to get a, a head count of how many people I'm going to be looking for so I don't I don't forget anybody or we don't leave early without someone. Um, so if you are going, please go to that link and just click on going. Um, like I said, I'll have the link in my description. And that's where you'll be able to put if you're going or not. And that will give me a little head count. For you locals, you want to ride with me? Just hit me up on there, and uh, we will we will go from there. So if you guys are going to the meetup, let me know, and I think it'll be pretty cool. No matter how many people we have, I'm down for anything. So pretty excited. Uh, I know we're going to be taking the scenic route, uh, especially at the time of the year that we're going about peak with all the leaves changing. Um, we're going to take the highway and then loop back, do like a little U-turn back. Uh, I think there's Colonial Heights we're going towards. Uh, we're going to loop back, come back down near my house, um, and then follow it all the way down through the beach where you guys always see me ride. So some of you guys that are a little more central would want to see the beach. Then we're going to ride down the hilltop, which is not very far away from the beach. Um, and we're going to eat at this, this local seafood restaurant, which is kind of pricey. However, it's a buffet, and it's possibly um, everyone that lives here's favorite restaurant. It's just pricey, so I can't go there all the time. I think it's like $18 a person, but, so bring money, peeps. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think about that, and I look forward to seeing people coming. Why do you change your light on me? Fucker. God damn it. 
You fucking cock sucking light, damn it. Okay, so the next time I want to talk about is um kind of like a one of the stop a girl ones gonna be like, no, 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 I don't think about it. No, no, you're wrong. No, nope, it's stupid. It's stupid. What to do, old guy? What it is? Chilling like a villain. Um, I want to talk about Xbox, um, what is it, Xbox One? Yeah, Xbox One versus PS4. Um, I'm an Xbox fanboy, so, uh, no matter what you say about the Xbox, or what you say about the PS4, uh, I will be getting the Xbox One, so, but I really just want to know the difference, because everyone's like, not get the Xbox One, because it's, it's stupid! I don't know the difference because I really haven't been following it. All the, uh, how convenient is this? I wish everyone, like, everywhere lined up like this. All the douchebags on the right, all the real drivers on the left. Oh. Um, I really haven't been following like the news or whatever the fuck it's called that talks about the Xbox One and the PS4. So I really don't know is the dealio with those things. I just know something about Xbox One like deleted something or something so that like you didn't have to be online all the time or some shit and it still sucks or something. I, I, fuck if I know. I, I have no clue. But um, I wanted to get some, some major differences if you guys know them um, between the two and why you're getting one and not the other. Um, that'd be nice to know. But, um, for you guys that are wondering, I am going to get the, uh, blah, 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 the Xbox One, um, eventually. Definitely not going to get it when it first comes out, because, uh, when the Xbox 360 came out, uh, if you guys remember, that was a clusterfuck, and they recalled, like, all the first gens. So we're not going to do that. But, yeah, so if you guys know any, like, differences, I'd love to hear your, your standpoint on the game systems. People are going to be like, dark. I fucking hate this. I fucking hate getting off and it's dark. Shit sucks. People don't know how to drive. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I want to give you the topic that my buddy Thomas Tomas had told me about. <laughs> he didn't really tell me about it. Uh, he, he suggested it per se. Ooh, it's like a quarter head. I don't want your quarterback. What the fuck is on the ground? Looks like a 1999 Corvette. She. All right, so the topic is for us guys, um, us guys that have significant others, um, <laughs> about how like how like it feels awkward when we have to go to like the store or something and buy like tampons or some shit. <laughs> Personally, I almost stalled like a retard. But everyone gets it. Everyone gets that like awkward stare. And then you know as soon as you buy them, all the associates are like talking about you. It's like you walk in and it's like, hi, I'm here to pick up some um, item. What can I help you find, sir? For the Tampax pearls, preferably the ones with the pretty colors, because tampons with different colors totally makes a difference of how awesome they are. <laughs> Which I'll never understand. If it's red, it's awesome. If it's blue, pink, green, purple, yellow, they're awesome. What the fuck is up with the different colors, woman? Why we need our fucking tampons different colors? Shit's cray cray. And then when you ask it, that, that associate gets that little giggle. Like, he asked for tampons. Insert 
really here. Just kidding, no really for me. But yeah, guys, has anyone had to go through that and buy feminine hygiene products as a male and get like that offered? that awkward conversation. I guess it goes the same for like pregnancy things, like you buy a pregnancy test. I think if someone did that and like they were a guy and they were like my age, I'd be like, oh, good luck. <laughs> I think it'd be funny as shit. Funny as fuck! But, anywho, if anyone's had that lovely experience, I would love to hear your, your experience of your your tampon purchasing. If not just dude, holy fuck. I must be in like a thing in my jigger. Matthias Alewan Lewan air peoples I need air in my toys. Toy air would be appreciated. Yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, for you guys that are new at riding, you probably noticed the uh, climate change. Um, a lot of places it's getting cooler. I guess you really don't have to worry about it if you're in, like, Florida or something. But um, now it's getting colder, guys. Air pressure in your tires is uh, something that's going to significantly change. Um, the way I just noticed that my tire pressure was low is I could go feet down on my bike and I'm not normally able to do that fully. So that's not good. But anyways guys, uh, let me know what you think about the topic. Well folks, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and end Tuesday's mud vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed talking about it. Some pretty three unique topics that uh <clears throat> I think you guys will find something that you guys like about them but anyways i will see you guys on thursday uh don't forget about the giveaway that video is up and the instructions are doing in that if you enter in the giveaway don't forget to go to the facebook page because uh that's how you win so um, i would hate for someone to win and then not be able to get the prize because they don't respond to me on facebook but anyways guys i hope everyone takes care and has a great rest of the week